What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the camera, everyone. This is Lee, and yes, today's the day we'll be talking about the Pentax 85mm 1.4 lens versus the Sigma 85mm 1.4 lens. And yes, this is the old school versus the new school. This is the old wife versus the ex-wife. And for those people that don't know, Pentax and Sigma, they're not, they don't have a relationship anymore, I don't think. Sigma is not making any more lenses for Pentax, and so, Hopefully in this review, we'll be able to see what is the current offering from Pentex and how well it holds up in today's current market. And also in this test, we'll be using a DA10 and also the Pentex K1. So without further ado, let's begin. Now the Pentex 85 costs roughly 600 to 1000 USD depending on the condition, whereas the Sigma costs about 1200 USD. Now, as for the weight, with the Pentex and the K1, it weighs about 1745 grams, whereas the Nikon, with the Sigma weighs about 2,285 gram. Now, most of the weight comes from the elements in the lens, of course. The Sigma has about 14 elements, nine blades, whereas the Pentax has about eight elements and nine blades. However, the Pentax have something very interesting. They have a really, really special lens hood. This lens hood weighs about 144 grams versus Sigma's 54 gram, and that's just because Pentax has three special features on this lens hood. It's fully metal build. It has a rubber trim at the end. It also has a velvet interior. So it took a lot of thought and design with this lens hood. Whereas the contemporary lens hood on the Sigma, the third party, is just a piece of plastic pretty much. It's very scratchable, just like the lens. And also since the Pentax is quite a vintage lens, it has an aperture control. And also there's a switch to do manual control as well. So just wanted you guys know that. And also as for the autofocus, here is what it sounds like. Now as you see, the Pentax is actually slightly noisier than the Sigma. The Sigma is much quieter than the Pentax, so that's just something for you guys to take note of. And as for the Bokeh at Nine Blades, they all look the same to me. I don't see any significant difference, so this is what it looks like. And as for chromatic aberration, this is what it looks like at 1.4 shooting outdoors. Definitely the Pentax at 1.4 has heavy chromatic aberration. Most of us kind of knew that. And for the Sigma, there's not a lot of chromatic aberration. There's just a slight green tint on the edges. And also, if you look at the edges, the edges of the lens is a lot sharper than the Pentax at 1.4. Now, at F2, it remains the same story, of course. There's definitely a heavy chromatic aberration on the Pentax glass, whereas the Sigma, it's a bit better than the Pentax. And at 2.8, the story remains the same. The Pentax does pretty poorly versus the Sigma shooting outdoors landscape scenes. The chromatic aberration is still there on the Pentax. At F4, it gets slightly better on the Pentax, but I would have to say the Sigma is a lot better than the Pentax at F4 shooting outdoors. Now at 5.6, it gets less chromatic aberration on the Pentax. Definitely, if you look at the edges, the edges are still soft. The Pentax doesn't do too well on that, so try not to shoot landscape with this lens. Take a look at the Sigma. Sigma is a lot sharper on the edges, and it remains the same. Sigma performs a lot better outdoors. And here's F8. It looks very even to me. However, if you look at the edges, Pentax is still soft on the edges. Now, if you're doing portrait photography, this is what it looks like at 1.4. Now, as you can see, the Pentax has more overall sharpness than the Sigma. The Sigma is really concentrated in the center of the lens, whereas the Pentax has a much more greater overall sharpness fall off. Now, at f2.0, you can see that the Sigma is slightly sharper than the Pentax. And also, I want to mention, both lenses, you can see the chromatic aberration around the nose, the Pentax being purple, whereas the Sigma seems to be slightly greenish. And at f2.8, the Pentax seems to be slightly sharper than the Sigma.
At f4, the story remains the same. The Pentax has more overall sharpness than the Sigma. At 5.6, the story remains the same. The Pentax is slightly sharper than the Sigma. And F8, it looks quite even, but I will have to give it to the Pentax. So in conclusion, definitely Sigma not making any more lenses for Pentax is not a big deal at all. Pentax could hold their own, as you saw in my test, the portrait section, that lens did pretty well than the Sigma. However, Pentax need to add their Aerobrite onto that lens because in my landscape testing, it didn't do too well against the sun. But if you saw my 50 millimeter 1.4, it has that Aerobrite, and I did compare that with the Sigma art lens, and it did way better than the Sigma art lens. So in my prediction, the new 85 millimeter 1.4 by Pentax will have that Aerobrite and it will be a lot sharper than the Sigma art series lens. And also it probably won't have my favorite part the metal lens hood but anyways thank you guys for checking me back i hope you enjoyed this review and definitely click like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one all right take it easy peace